So, I love my African brothers and sisters. Uh, peace and love to them. And peace and love to Chuti Gatwa, who has been cast as uh, Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor Who is a show I grew up with, grew up watching as a child. My children, I have a number of children, and they're all big fans of the show. So I was ecstatic last year when I was cast in the show. And uh, it's a, it wasn't a big part, so don't expect me to be talking about me being a co-star or anything like that. But there were some significant scenes that I was involved in. And I had a great time filming it in Wales and Bristol. So when I got a um, notification, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, was it? That there was a possibility that I could be in the new season. So that's the season that's coming out in 2025. I was really excited. Um, now, just to give you a bit of background about me, um, I am from a family uh, that is not from Africa. Not all black people are from Africa, okay? You may trace my ancestors to Africa, but you can trace all white people to Africa as well. My ancestors are irrelevant. My parents did not come to this country from Africa, anywhere in Africa. And I remember as a child, um, my brother going to Wales, strangely enough, to um, play a football tournament. And like he went with his team and quite a few members of his team were cousins of ours because I have a big family and quite a few of my cousins are the same age as him. And um, the team is from Wilberforce School in uh, West London. The, the team was mostly made up of black. I think it was all black boys because that area was mostly black when I was a child. And they were probably only about 10 or so of age. So I've, only, I'd have, I've been really young at the time. And this would have been in the maybe 19, maybe about 1970. Say it was 1970, 71. And so they went to Wales. They played some uh, football uh, tournament. It was like a football tour around Wales. And they came back and they were in the newspaper. Um, my brother had brought back a newspaper from Wales where they had a photograph of his team. And it said, we were pleased to have been visited by some African boys. Now, none of the team was African. Not one of them. Not one of them. Most of them were born in the UK to parents from the Caribbean or other parts of the world, but not one of them was African. So, but my mum cut out the clipping because I had a picture of my brother. And she kept that and she still has it in her uh, photo book. And every time, when we were kids, we used to look at this clipping and we would laugh. <laughs> um, I mean, it was offensive, but we would still find it funny. But as you get older and you realise the ramifications of such racism, you realise that it's not funny. None of it's funny. They look at us all as being the same. It would be like me looking at everyone with, well, pale skin, because nobody really has white skin, like nobody really has black skin. But looking at these pale, pale skin people and assuming they're all from England. You know, if I see a Mexican or a... Spanish person or an Italian or a Greek person or whatever, you're all English because you all have similar colours. How absurd would that be? But if you do it to people who you call black people, but none of us are black, then it's fine. So I was shocked when I got a briefing for um, the Doctor Who show, which made some assumptions about me being African and assuming that I would have African clothing at the drop of a hat to bring to them that would fit me to bring to a fitting the next day. And it's like, what? <laughs> what am I reading? 
And then it was also the aggressive nature of the communication. Like, if you ain't got that, don't bother coming. If you don't comply with this, don't bother coming. It was a totally different tone to when I was on Doctor Who last year. Now, last year, strangely enough, we were filming what was a very white Caucasian um, episode. Um, very sort of posh, white. I can't go into too much details about it. And so the majority of the cast were white. And the the invite <laughs> to go for the costume fitting and to go for filming was just very, um, these are the details, these are the times, please come along. But this, on this occasion, for this particular episode that they've asked me to be in, um, this was going to be set somewhere in Africa. I'm not going to say where. And... So they assumed that I must be African and have African attire to bring with me and I must not come unless I bring this African attire with me with less than 24 hours notice. But it was also the don't don't be late, don't come without what we've told you. If you do, don't bother coming sort of thing. That was the, the kind of tone of the... It was a very aggressive communication, very rude communication. And by some coincidence, the majority of the cast are black on this occasion. Now, I don't want to knock Kuti Gatwa. I've never, I'm um, Chuti, sorry, Gatwa. I've never watched, um, uh, what's, the, what's the show he does? Sex Education? Never watched it. So I don't know how good he is. But I've seen him as Doctor Who and he's, you know, what I've seen is good. So I don't want this to really affect his involvement. But let's face it, at the end of the day, they've had many years, you know, what, 50 years, more than that, maybe 60 years to have a black doctor. Why have they picked to have a black doctor right now? Because they're worried about being called out for being the racist people that they are. That's why. And the only reason they're worried about that is because of what's happened with the George Floyd incident. When George Floyd got murdered and the whole world, and particularly in Bristol, which isn't, uh, you know, too far from from uh, the studios where they film a lot of Doctor Who, um, they they threw uh, a statue of a racist in into the um, river. And there was a lot of um, tension in the black community across the world after the murder of George Floyd. And we started saying, look, this isn't just isolated to George Floyd. This is all of us. All us black men, we have to deal with this every week, every day, every minute we're out in public. And then black women have to deal with it as well. Not to the same extent. They get a different type of discrimination, but they still get discrimination based on their colour. And it's just as bad. And so they thought, well, you know, for, in order to put a smokescreen around what we've been doing for the last 60 years, why don't we cast this black guy as Doctor Who? Just to, co you know, to go along with the, the mood of the time, because we have shows like Bridgerton, period costume dramas, that are, having, are casting black people. So we need to start showing some inclusivity and maybe have a main cast member being black. But I'm not fooled. And I know that the... I, I'm pretty certain, I can't say I know, I'm pretty certain that the the producers, the crew, and everyone involved behind the scenes at Doctor Who are hoping that Tutti fails. So that they can go back to David Tennant. Why do you think they split them? They didn't have a regeneration. They split them in two. So that if Tutti fails, they've got a good excuse to bring back David Tennant. They don't have to regenerate because it would look stupid if he regenerated again. So they split them. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. And, and it's the treatment that I've had this time around. I pulled out of the, uh, Doctor Who completely. I pulled out of it. I didn't do it. I'm not going. And it's made me decide that I'm giving up acting completely. Apart from doing local productions in Liverpool, I'm not doing any more productions. I'm done because it's still the racist hellhole that it's always been. And it's never gonna get better 
if we participate in their system, we have to step out of this system because this system is not improving anything for anyone. It's making things worse when we participate. You, we need to pull away and do our own things. We have the money, we have the means, we have the resources to create our own Disney and our own BBC and our own whatever we need to make. Just like we do with music. We need to do that within the film and TV industry. And so this is why I'm making this video. So that people know, people know what's going on. And actors out there and, um, you know, other artists involved, you know, essays and anyone else involved in these productions who are black. Check yourself, look in the mirror. Are you, are you doing a favor to your community by being on this production? Is it helping your community? Do you see people thriving? Do you see things happening? Because you may point to, oh yeah, suddenly Netflix has got loads of black programs. Disney suddenly throwing in the odd black cast member or making Black Panther movies or whatever. It's short term termism. It's just people, mercenaries grabbing the money, not thinking about their community. The majority of our community is still discriminated against every single day. And you're not making anything better. In fact, you're probably making it worse because now you're giving them an excuse because they can turn to you and say, look, look what we've done for this guy. We're not racist. So think about this. Think about what I'm saying and reconsider what you're doing because I've reconsidered it and I have other skills which I've used most of my life. I don't need to be doing acting and I'm done with it. I'm really done with this whole industry. Unless it's an independent production made by black people, I am not involved. So that's my say.